Hey, a pleasant good day, Reading Royals fans. This is going to be the next edition of the Royal Take as we have two games this weekend against the Newfoundland Growlers and then welcome back a team that we're very accustomed to in this early season, the Norfolk Admirals for Sunday. But this is going to be a preview just for tonight's game against the Newfoundland Growlers as this is Sports Fat News. I'm Joe Boric, and if you enjoy the content, please consider subscribing. The goal right now, 160 at the end of November. We're at 158 right now only need two more two more people to subscribe so please spread the word but also please subscribe over at steel flyers and flyers nitty gritty who i'm going to be covering the game for again tonight in person which is a joy to do each time love the satande arena love the people of the arena love dylan coil love everybody that looks there it's a great atmosphere but let's get right into this game when it comes to the newfoundland growlers we'll first look at their roster and the top three players to watch when it comes to their team, the biggest player to watch, or the biggest two, I should say, are Zach O'Brien, who has 10 points in 10 games, points per game guy, and then Ryan Chinoski, who basically um, is a points per game guy, 9 points, 4 goals, 5 assists, where Zach O'Brien is the assist king, has 9 assists, only 1 goal. He can kind of, he kind of has that, like, basically eyes in the back of his head, I guess, is the, I was trying to think of a better way to say it, but passing ability where he seems to always be able to see players on the ice. Nathan Knoll was also playing really well. Is Gordy Green, so I gave you four people instead of three. Those guys would probably be the main catch to watch, but this is a good overall team that has spread out scoring because when you look at Marcus Power, um, Todd, uh, Todd Skirving, and also Isaac Johnson, all those guys have five points. So the Newfoundland Growlers are a very dangerous team when it comes to being able to put the puck in the net and being able to actually get some scoring output from their team. So this is a team that the Reading Royals are going to have to play a very, very good complete game against and play very good hockey. I apologize for the dog barking in the background. But very good hockey, like we've been seeing early in this season by our Reading Royals and by Bykoff, by Winquist, by Lowe, and by many other guys, Drake on the defense, that the Royals have been stepping up and playing a very good game. When it comes to defense, you got um, Peter Reen, or, or excuse me, um, Pete Tronero, I always mispronounce his name, and then Kapchik, and then Pomerlay. Um, when it comes to the Newfoundland Growlers, that are the most um, enticing there. And then they also have a very solid young goaltender in Evan Cormier, who is a guy that is going to continue to develop and potentially be a guy that also, I believe, will become a very solid AHL goaltender in time and maybe eventually get his day in the NHL. Look at the great Jordan Bennington, who was good in the E and now is a very good goalie, a Stanley Cup winner for the St. Louis Blues, of course. So, that's who I would say you have to mainly watch for them. Now, let's get on to the best team in the ECHL, our favorite team, obviously not the best team yet in record, but the best team in our heart, the Reading Royals, as we had um, Pat Nagel, rightfully so, get called up to the Phantoms, rewarded for his great play. I did an article on that over at Flyers and Gritty. If you want to check it out, I will link that in the description. And Hayden Hawkey and Kirill Ustamenko are now going to be the cat for our Red Ing Royals. They are going to be the two guys in net. Kirill, who obviously did great two seasons ago, still working his way back from injury. A brilliant move by the team to be able to get him more reps. He, I would assume, is going to be starting tonight. And then Hayden Hawkey watching in warm-up. He's a guy I've only been able to read about. I haven't really watched him play while he's been coming up the rank. But a guy that seems like a pretty um solid netminder that can be a solid backup netminder for you, so a guy that can mix in and get some starts, but obviously Kirill Usti Ustamenko is the guy you're going to want to get going hot again while Pat Nagel's up with the Phantoms waiting for Samuel Ursan to come back, and then you have one of the ECHL greats, the current all-time winning this goal, and I believe it's fifth all-time in Pat Nagel there for the Reading Royals when he is back down. But this has been a preview to the Royals versus the Norfolk Admirals, the first tilt again 
the or not the Norfolk Admirals, that's Sunday's game, versus the Newfoundland Growlers, the first tilt against the Newfoundland Growlers is this evening, the second one tomorrow, I will be doing a preview for that game tomorrow, I will be there covering each game this weekend for the wonderful Flyers Nitty Gritty, it is a blessing and a privilege to be able to do so, so I'll see you all tonight that are at the game, let's go Royals, peace out and have a safe weekend everybody.